In this video, we're going to take a look at some basic parent functions that you would probably normally encounter in Algebra 1. Recall that a parent function is the simplest or most basic form of a family of functions that share common characteristics. Now, the first one we're going to look at, this one, this is probably the most basic of all functions, and this is the linear parent function. This is the graphed version of it. Uh, you will recall that linear means that it has an x with a an exponent of 1. We don't write the 1. And its simplest form is simply y equals x. Now, if we were to add some number out here, that's no longer the simplest form, so that's not a parent. In fact, we will refer to this as a transformation of the parent. It's in the same family, but the graph would not be in the same place. A lot of you probably already know this would move that same line that you see graphed up where it crossed with a y-intercept of 3. Now, we're not going to look at that in this video. We'll look at transformations elsewhere. Uh, the one we're interested in is y equals x. Linear parent. So when you refer to the linear parent, this is the one you're referring to, y equals x. Let's look at some characteristics of it. First of all, we notice that linear parent functions have an intercept at 0, 0. They cross both x, y at the origin. Uh, that's the parent function. Now, if we do a transformation of that, we might move it up to cross somewhere else or down. Uh, we might change the slant or the slope of that line. But the parent function crosses at 0, 0. Uh, second characteristic that's obvious from this is that it makes a line, a straight line. Uh, if at any place that line is not straight or it turns to some other slope, it's no longer a linear function. Uh, and also, you'll notice that on the parent function, y is always equal to x. So whatever value we go over, so let's say 5, we also have to go up 5 when we graph it. So it'll be at, in this case, that coordinate's 5, 5. So x and y will always be equal at any coordinate along that line. That's what makes it the linear parent function. As I said, it's about the simplest of all functions and about the simplest of all parent functions. But you need to recognize those characteristics so that you'll know when that linear parent has been transformed by either being moved up or down or changing the slope uh, in some way. Remember that the linear parent does not include the negative x. I mean, if it goes, still crosses at 0, 0, but if it slants down like that, that's not the parent. That's actually been transformed by putting a negative sign in front of it. So it's not the simplest form anymore. The simplest form is simply y equals x. So that's the first of the basic parent functions that you usually encounter. The next one is this one, the y equals x squared. The common characteristic here is the square. When you see y equals x squared, this is a quadratic function. We refer to it because of the x squared. So again, kind of hard for me to write here. If you can read that, it says quadratic. So this is the quadratic function parent that we're looking at, y equals x squared. Um, y equals x squared is a little different from the y equals. Let's take a look at a table of values here, and you'll see what I mean. So we're going to do an xy table, and I'll just do negative 3 all the way to positive 3, counting by 1s. We'll use integers here. Let's look at the values here. When I plug negative 3 in to x, negative 3 squared is positive 9. Remember, if you're actually substituting this in, you put negative 3 in there because you've got to square the negative also. Negative 3 squared is 9. And so we would go ahead and plug that in here. And then negative 2 squared is 4. Uh, negative 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is, of course, 0. 1 squared, 1 times 1 is 1. 2 squared is 4. And finally, 3 squared is 9. So there's my table of values. So it doesn't quite look like the linear one did. And if I go ahead and just plot all of these dots up here on my graph, it looks something like this. There's the dots that make it up. And I'll go ahead and connect those with a line. And there is my shape that makes up the parent function for the quadratic. 
The parent function has several interesting characteristics. First of all, its vertex, the lowest point on the graph, is at 0, 0. So you can see this point right here. That's at 0, 0. So the lowest point is at 0, 0. And it makes a U shape. We call that a parabola. That's its shape. So you've got to recognize that shape. When you see that shape either wider, narrower, even turned upside down, that's probably telling you this is in the family of quadratic equations of which the parent, the simplest form, is y equals x squared. Notice also it goes over 1 and up 1 in both directions. But look what happens at 2. When you go over 2, you go up 4 because 2 squared is 4. When you go over 3, you go up 9. And you can see how this number gets big very quickly because if you go to 4, you would be off this graph at 16. If you go to 5, you're all the way to 25. By the time you get to 10, you would be vertically along the y-axis all the way up at 100. So this is the parent function for the quadratic equation, uh, and those are the characteristics that make it up. Looking for vertex at 0, 0, opening upwards with a shape of a parabola or a U, and then characteristics at, say, over 1, up 1, but over 2, up 4, over 3, up 9. Again, you want to recognize the parent's graph. You want to recognize those characteristics because if you look at a transformation of it, you want to know what's happened from the basic parent function. So parent functions are important that way. Uh, if you want to see more advanced parent functions, there's a couple of videos on my uh, mymatheducation.com website that refer to other parent functions such as uh, square root of x, the rational x cubed, cubed root of x, uh, and then on up to uh, exponentials and logarithmic as well as uh, absolute values. Uh, those are on other videos at that location. Also would invite you to subscribe to my math education channel on YouTube. Uh, appreciate you watching this video and hope you'll come back and watch some others uh, as you need more help with your math education. Thanks again.